less than a day away from the Vero Beach Air Show. Planes and jets, they're warming up as we speak in the skies above the Treasure Coast. Yeah, it's getting loud, it's getting noisy, it's getting fun. WPTV had the opportunity to join some of these daredevils, and Mike Trim <laughs> went up yesterday. He lived to tell a, a, about it today, so he's at the live desk now with uh, more on his experience. <laughs> uh, how did it go? I'll tell you what, I've been waiting to show this video. Something I'm glad I did. Might not ever try again, though. I'm a Navy veteran, so you know, I went in there figuring in this air show plane should be no biggie, but a few twists and turns here and there. It did not take long for me to see just how elite these pilots are that you'll see this weekend. From takeoff to twirls to landing safely. I have a whole new respect for air show pilots. That's me in the front seat of this Jack Lynx Extra 300L aerobatic plane. And there's Lieutenant Colonel Klatt, master of this plane, his domain for the Vero Beach Air Show. Here's where it got interesting. <laughs> there it is. We're gonna get right after it today. So we and boy, did we. Fun, isn't it? Uh, yeah. All right, we're gonna do the teriyaki twist. Are you ready? Uh, yeah. Not gonna lie, it's this moment right here. I thought I was gonna lose my lunch. Uh, yeah. We're gonna go straight up. We're gonna roll to the left in the Jack Lynx teriyaki twist. <laughs> then we're gonna come backwards right about here. We're coming backwards, my friend. Yeah, you're probably getting dizzy just watching this. All right, we're going to do some rolls. Are you ready? I think so. Okay. Ooh. There's some half rolls. Okay, okay. We call that, well, we'll do the uh, Saskatchewan centrifuge right about now. We're going to pull right up. We're going to go right, right. Okay. Oh, man, is that cool or what? Yeah. What do you think of that? I think, uh, I think that's good. Then it was back to solid ground. Whew. In all seriousness, though, Lieutenant Colonel Klatt loves air shows and the inspiration he can spread. You know, as I get a little bit older and I see that, uh, you know, 10 to 15 year old young man or young woman that might be interested in aviation, there's really a wide open career field. So it's fun to inspire the next generation. This is the plane that Lieutenant Colonel Klatt will actually be flying in this Saturday and take a look. It's called the Screaming Sasquatch. Look at the setup here, the propeller, and this is a jet engine. So just imagine the power he'll have while he's pulling off those tricks at the air show. And like many of you, I'm A-OK -okay with watching that from the ground, not in the passenger seat. That's too much. I made was it. there a point Thank in time goodness. when you were wow. like, okay, I'm, let, let's land? Uh, it, it was. I said, I, I feel like I good. saw it on your face. I think we're good. If the camera wasn't on, you wouldn't have toughed it out, right? No, tell the he, truth. Oh, that oh looks man. I, I knew where you the You gave the was. old thumbs up. You had fun, but I can tell that the, was tough. The Navy uh, Blue Angels uh, kind of pumped up their time, and we had to be out of the airspace. So we kind of scrunched down 30 minutes into five minutes, oh. as you could tell. So we did all the time. So we did all the ones. Oh, man. I had How to long make a stop on the way home. How long before you were able to eat? Because your stomach had to settle. Oh, I didn't eat for a while, but I thought about everything I ate while I was in the plane. <laughs> <laughs> and your brain got had to be brain. rattled. But oh Saturday goodness. and Sunday, you got to go out and see yeah. these guys at Vero Beach. It's, Look, it's awesome. Look uh, like fun. Yeah, yeah, right. That's, that's awesome. what they call it. Yeah. We need to give you a badge that said, I survived. <laughs> How cool is that? All right, well,